if you have followed this channel for some weeks now, you would have noticed we've posted videos about gas carburetors. Like gas carburetors, I mean uh, carburetors that help your generator run on gas, LPG or CNG as the case may be. But there's something of note. A lot of persons have asked me numerous questions, even on this platform, on the YouTube platform, on Facebook, on WhatsApp, and several other social platforms about these same gas carburetors. You know why? In this part of the world where I reside, Nigeria particularly, we are new to this technology. Not necessarily new to this technology, but we haven't really made use of this technology for uh, house consumption or house use, as the case may be. So I'll be looking at some of the questions a lot of persons have asked me, and I'll be giving responses to them. Okay, so if you have these questions, or you have questions at gas gas capital that you want answer, answers to, you may just be lucky as your question may just be here as well. Uh, the first question we have here is, what if the generator goes off and the gas tank cylinder is still on, or you forget to turn off the gas cylinder? Is there a risk of leakage, or does the carburetor have a way of putting off the gas intake? Thanks. All right, let's take cognizance of this carburetor. Okay. Um, with this carburetor, you can basically switch from CNG to uh, LPG. When you take it up, you're on LPG. When you take it this way, horizontal, you're on CNG. But when it's slant, at this point, you've locked the carburetor. At this point, gas cannot, from your cylinder, um, get into your carburetor, which will eventually get into your generator. However, you can also decide to tighten your gas valve on, the, on your bottle. If you tighten that gas valve on your bottle, for some, uh, valve you have to tighten it to the right for some others you have to use the valve switch there any of them at that point you would have been able to stop or cut off the gas intake to your generator bro how can one switch from gas to using petrol once the gas finishes like after filling the tank with fuel is there any adjustment we are to do on the gas carburetor before running it and what is the work of the yellow colored plastic close to um, the hose. Okay, I think he was making reference to this yellow plastic I just explained some few seconds ago. However, when you are to use this particular carburetor, of course, that's why it's called dual carburetor. We are to use this particular carburetor for either of petrol or gas. You really do not need to do any much work. All you just need to do at that point is to disconnect your generator or your carburetor from the tank or sometimes you may not even disconnect it all you just need to do is to put off the foil valve and then open this white you open this white um, valve here so that the, all the foil in the carburetor will just uh, come out okay at that point when all the carburetor all the foil in the carburetor is, is out the carburetor is empty free from petrol that is when you switch to uh, using your gas. It's that easy. It's not difficult at all. All right. Um, let's get down to the next question. The next question says, how long can one kg gas last using this? Okay. How long can one kg gas last using uh, this dual carburetor? Okay. Um, this is relative. I cannot categorically tell you how much a kg of gas will last. I can only give you the range. And however, this depends on the kind of generator you are making use of. The way one kg gas will last for a 3.5 kg generator is totally different from how one kg gas will last for a 7.5 kg generator. And, and the load as well. If, let's say, I, I use a particular generator, let's say 3.5 kV to just power up my lighting point and my fans in my house, and another person use 1 kg um, or the generator, 1 kg on the generator to power freezers, uh, shillers, you name it, a lot of heavy equipment. The amount of hours I will use the 1 kg gas for myself that power lighting point would last far more than what the person will use the 1 kg gas to power those heavy equipment. But most times, from reviews I've gotten from people who are fixed and from my customers, clients, and even personally, uh, a 1 kg gas for a 3 kV generator would range from 2 hours to 4 hours. I hope that uh, answers the question. All right, our next question here is, 
do one have to turn it off from this gas cylinder or we leave it on okay i think this question is as regards um, turning off your valve cylinder valve um, basically i do advise people to turn it off when not in use however uh, over time i haven't really seen any side effect of not turning it on but i really do advise you turn it off because if you use your petrol normally you do turn off your uh, petrol valve okay from your tank right so that should apply to the gas as well on to the next question engineer i love your work please this lpg carburetor hope is repairable because i know sometimes it can give problem of course of course it is very very repairable uh technicians te technicians rather can fix it okay it's not difficult at all i know because of how it looks it will look like it's not repairable but funny enough it's same with almost same with the regular single carburetor that uses just petrol how is the gas consumption for the LEPAC 11 kilowatt generator? Like I explained in one of the previous questions, two questions before this, I said it's relative. So until you've used it for your load, I cannot tell you how long it's going to last. Okay, this question from Osnov 3538. Greetings, your D DIY do it yourself tutorial is great. Thank you very much. I have one recently installed on a Fireman Echo 8990ES series with 6 kVA. I noticed it runs for a few hours and then it sounds, it starts to sound like the gen is about to die. I try to tilt the gas cylinder and it works for a few minutes and then it appears again. When would you have any recommendation for me to try fixing it? Okay, this is not new. Okay, personally, I'm a technician, right? But I've equally experienced this trying to. Uh, fix uh, to install this carburetor for someone uh i installed that was that was yesterday right yeah that was yesterday uh, yesterday i think i installed the carburetor for someone and it was jerking by jerking i mean it fluctuates um up and down goes up and down goes over like the gen is not functional okay what i did at that point is to try to tweak the carburetor to match the generator I can't explain how I did tweak that carburetor now because I'm just doing a question and answer session. Probably I'll shoot another video on that to basically explain how I did tweak the carburetor. But if you can get access to a technician, kindly discuss it with a technician, you'll be able to tweak it to a large extent and make your carburetor uh, function well with your generator. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> um, I'll try to rush these questions now. I have just been told that we have a few minutes left. Bro, how can one switch from gas to using petrol once the gas finishes, like after filling the tank? Okay, I've talked about this already. The Another question similar to the last one. The only switch on the regulator, what is it used for? My can go left or right. I want to be sure of the right direction to turn it. Also, how do we adjust the capital can my gas? You promised to answer this in your previous question. As a matter of fact, I'm going to shoot the video of how to uh economize gas after this immediately after this i'm going to shoot a video on that so uh, be rest assured you are going to see that on our channel soon as but as regards the function of the orange switch i have answered that already so i believe you've seen that great but just curious this is another question from tmn media training trading great but just curious on the safety of having gas laid outside which is yeah, it's hot. Isn't that dangerous? How safe is using the gas with the gen outside the environment? This is why I have not thought of it. <laughs> Omo, if you can afford to install gas carburetors, please go install gas carburetors. It's relatively safe. Uh, basically, most persons I know that do ask this question, they have their gas cylinder right there in their kitchen. They use it to cook. You are not scared using your gas cylinder to cook in your kitchen. Why are you scared using um, your gas this gas carburetor to power your generator, knowing fully where you are expected to apply the necessary safety measures. If you have the funds the, to, to do the conversion, I, I bid you to go do it right away. It's very, very, very important. Okay, this question from King is he, I noticed that my gas cylinder gets wet whenever I'm running my generator on LPG. What could be the, there's no problem with your generator on that. It's normal. 
please can they use any cylinder head or there is a special one for generator i will drop a link on this particular video just check the top here you see the link i explained that in one of our previous videos go check it out tell us more about the safety what if the generator develop fault and off itself due to oil shortage or something what happened to the cylinder and the gas nothing happens guy if it develops for all you just need to do is to put off the cylinder and that's all it's similar to your gen developing fault when you run up run it up petrol does the carburetor work with cng cng means compressed natural gas of course it does like i said earlier when you want to use the generator for cng you just switch it to this particular point cng and lpg you switch it back okay so that is it basically i've tried and it works except a scary dripping of water which eventually flows underneath the underneath how bit slowly is this normal it's normal can it be used for any type of generator well um different generators have their own type of gas carburetors okay so just watch a video we uploaded some hours ago and that video will explain basically what you need to know about the type of carburetors you should need for your generator different generators have different type of carburetors my generator is sounding like generator that foil wants to finish when i'm using the gas carburetor is it normal please i need your help uh all you need to do is to tweak your generator carburetor and it will function properly as a matter of fact it has happened to me it has happened to me the first time it happened i didn't really um panic much i just needed to tweak because i know the generator at that point was not receiving enough gas to work perfectly so guys i i hope this video is not too long i tried my best i didn't answer a lot of questions because i wanted this video to be pretty short but if it's long bear with me guys i hope i've been able to answer those pressing questions if for example you have questions i still haven't answered just drop them in the comment section i will definitely attend to them if for adventure you drop your questions in the comment section i didn't reply on time just be patient i will be doing some other things but when i come online i will definitely reply if you've loved this video to this particular point i bid you to subscribe to share this video to like tell your family about this channel guys and let youtube be in the know that something is happening in this channel please without your like and your share i i'm not sure we'll survive up to this very point please do well to subscribe like and share i plead thanks a lot guys we'll meet in our next class peace